Hey, what's up everyone? Tetrak85 here with some more fun with FIFA 10. And in this match will feature AFC Bournemouth vs. Leicester City. Now, both these teams have interesting stories. Uh, Bournemouth is the surprise promoted team from uh, the league championship last year, playing in their first season in Premier League. And Leicester City are pulling off the great escape by uh, surviving in the Premier League after being in the bottom of the table for the longest time. As you can see, Leicester City, they will look to get the ball long to Leonardo Uloa, which is still a big part of the team. Strong focus on exploiting the wide areas of the pitch, and they look to press the opposition as well. And yes, it's pronounced Leicester. I know a lot of people say Leicester or something like that, but it's actually pronounced Leicester. And Leicester's gotten off to a pretty good start in the Premier League, as well as Bournemouth, I should say. So when I saw these two teams play uh, this weekend, I decided, you know what, i got to feature this on my channel. It's actually a pretty stadium, even though it's a lower division one. Of course, Bournemouth is the home team. They're not wearing the, the red and black like they do in real life, but that's okay. As you can see in midfield, the one oddball name there is Teco Modis, which Tokelo Ranti, who plays with Bournemouth, isn't on this game, so I figured I'd put another South African in. And Leicester City has the same formation as you see you lower David Nugent up front. Now, first things first, you, you have to hear the commentary on this. I've never heard him that happy before. And um, as you can see, Kenwin Jones with the perfect start for Bournemouth, which... I have to admit, I don't know why I, he left Bournemouth in order to go to Cardiff. I'm not sure if they let him go or what, but... His Premier League experience would have helped Bournemouth a lot this year, but... Come to find out, they're doing pretty good on their own, so... But yeah, Kenwin Jones is a former Sunderland and Stoke player that signed with Bournemouth towards the end of last season, towards the promotion push. Thing, the thing about Bournemouth is, much like they are in real life on here, as long if you have the right personnel playing with them, they can be quite potent in terms of offense and a good all-around team to play as. And you see Kenlin Jones with a second of the game there. But yeah, in, uh, for real, uh, like I mentioned before, they wear black and red stripes on their shirts, much like Newcastle does with their black and white. Kind of wish they would have had that here, but... Oh well. And the, the badge isn't the same on here. Their, their badge got updated. They look more... They kind of look a little bit like our, the badge kind of looks a little bit like us. Kermigan, former Charlton Athletic player. And Kenwin Jones with a quick hat trick. But yeah, this team, if you know how to handle them, they can pack quite a wall up, and they can take on pretty much anybody. I know I played as, as this team before uh, before I started this segment. I played against Reading, and they packed quite a punch up. And though I kind of made a few additions to this team, I, I, I didn't have Junior Stanislaus on the wing in that game. I didn't have Miles Addison as center back in that game. So I didn't, and I had a different right back too, but. Don't let, don't let this uh, Bournemouth team's position in the league fool you. If we're, if we're a League 2 side on this game, they are actually pretty good. See Jones with almost his fourth goal in less than 20 minutes though, which, that was a tough angle. If he would have got that, I would have been impressed. And see Bournemouth dominating possession here early on. Kermorgan with uh, hitting the post. A nice slide there for the goal. Nice individual effort by young Kermorgan, the Frenchman.
see some sloppy defending there by Lester. Now, it might just be me, but this stadium that they're playing in looks a lot like what Highbury uh, used to look like, uh, when, uh, the place that uh, Arsenal used to play at for their home game. Which, I don't know why I'm talking about Arsenal a lot now. <laughs> the Jones could have done a better job with that. Conrad Logan in goal for Leicester, which Casper Smeichel is in there for real, but I have Casper Smeichel in goal for Newcastle, so... And that's one thing that I did, like... I think I was in such awe playing as Bournemouth, I kind of rushed some of the shots here. I could have done a better job with them, like... The last two shots that Jones made, especially that one, I think I could have taken my time on here. But it, it can be kind of like a shock to the system, just how fluid their offense is and how well they're able to take possession. So one could argue, yeah, I am playing as, against Leicester, but you got to figure, Leicester is playing two divisions above them in this game. And for a Bournemouth to come up with that, this kind of start, Goes to show what kind of strength they have in their team. See Jones doing his best impression of Kermorgan with his last goal that he scored. And I see Teco Modis, which is the analog in this game of Tokolo Ranti. Will he cross? Once again, I kind of rushed that shot there with Jones. I think it surprised him as much as me. Andrew well. Sam in the form of Wolves and Norwich player, which I don't know who Jones was trying to pass it there. Oakley. Nice cutoff there. Stanislaus to Jones to Kerr Morgan. Should have shot earlier there. Logan with the easy scoop up there. There's Dan Gosling. Former Newcastle player. Homer again with a nice ball there. Come to find out that him and Jones make quite a good uh, partnership up front here for Bournemouth in this game. Oh, that's nice that they just passed it to me. See Kermor again again trying to go along the wing here, trying to make something happen. Nice patience there by Kenwin Jones at his put that ball in for his fifth goal of the game. A real comfortable Make it seven nothing Bournemouth. And, and that's not all. Jones once again to Kermorgan. And yet that almost looks like a carbon copy of the last goal, but Kenwin Jones was in a different position, but at this point, I was just feeling it, you know, I, any chance I could to get more goals, I mean, I was absolutely blown in confidence with this team. Now, this being a League, league 2 side, I do have to say that even though they start off with a bang, they do f eventually fatigue, so you do have to make sure that you make whatever sh shots you can count, especially during the first half. That way in the second half we can concentrate on making tactical substitutions in that because this team will get fatigued pretty, I can't say real quickly, but quicker than most other teams on here, so you do have to watch out for that. But other than that, I would highly recommend playing as this Bournemouth team. Nugent, plenty of cover there. Of course, Addison failing to contain Nugent there. Daryl Flahaven, the former Crystal Palace goalkeeper. Though now the starting goalkeeper is Arto Burak, which I have in this game playing for Southampton, but right now he's the starting goalkeeper for Bournemouth. Really should have done a rainbow shot, and that's why I was talking about patience before. I, this really, you know, 9 nothing is a very impressive scoreline in the first half, but I can't help to think it could have been so much higher had I taken my time with some of the shots here. As you can see, Leicester not doing anything at all in this first half. <laughs> However, they kick off the second half here, and uh, like I said a few minutes ago, this half is mainly 
just making sure I don't get too fatigued. After all, I am playing as a League 2 side in this game. But any chance I can, can get to score goals here, I'm going to take that off opportunity like Primo against right there, trying to take the initiative there. Jones missing the tackle. Yeah, it's nice to see Bournemouth just up and running so far in this Premier League season. Of course, ever, most people are tipping them for relegation, but they have other plans. As I'm making a substitution here. Kermorgan was getting kind of fatigued on that last advance, so I'm going to replace him with Wilson. Now, this is not uh, Calum Wilson like in real life. This is another Wilson. This is a Brazilian striker just named Wilson, but... It, 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 the weird thing is, he looks similar to what Kalen Wilson does in the last so it, it kind of fits. See Adam Barrett there with the win. Dan Gosling trying to start the counterattack. Kermigan trying to make one last thing happen before he gets subbed. I would say that Jones probably could have done a better job there. Which, I don't know what my guys were doing. <laughs> I don't even know what the Lester guy was doing. See, this team does it really, even though, you know, Lester kind of has more possession in his second half, this Bournemouth side is doing good. And I, Lester gets called with a handball in the box, which means a penalty. And here comes Wilson, which, oddly enough, even though he's a sub, he's taking the penalty instead of Kenwin Jones. And he gets the goal. You know, the goalkeeper guessed right, but this was an absolute bullet by Wilson. Look at that. <laughs> Logan had no chance against that, even though he guessed right. You can tell that was a Brazilian taking that penalty because that was lethal. And Wilson making immediate impact with his born side. He's won the ball out And you see once again, winning the ball there. He's trying to make something happen out in the wing to trying to get the ball out to Jones. So, not really anything happening there. But yeah, I, I could be wrong in speaking of Leicester, but I think they're only the second team in Premier League history to survive despite being bottom at Christmas time. So, I, I do have to look that up. I might be wrong. I'm, I, I, I think they were at the bottom. It, it, it was either them or QPR, but I'm pretty sure they were at the bottom before QPR. But I have to look that up. But they were pretty much in the relegation zone pretty much all season last year until the last couple months, and then they went on a very hot streak, which led them to survival. But oddly enough, they fired their manager, Nigel Pearson, which I thought was kind of odd, but they got a good manager in Claudio Ranieri. And Bournemouth, yeah. As far as their managerial position, Eddie Howe is pretty much going to be in there for life unless something weird happens. He's pretty much led this Bournemouth side from the brink of exiting the Football League to uh, the dizzying heights of the Premier League. And so far, they've risen up to the challenge. You know, they got a win, two draws, and only one loss to start off the season. That's pretty impressive for a promoted side. This is good passing football. Now here's an opening, he's got away from the head, he threw a goal! Good interception there. And I don't know what kind of back pass that was. There's control any down there, showed him too much of the ball. Stanislas with the ball. And in these last uh, 10 minutes of the second half, it's going to be real boring because... I'm just going to keep it here just to preserve my clean sheet. I probably should have made a few more substitutions here, but I figured at this point, you know... I just want to be on the safe side and not have anything happen that's going to blow my clean sheet here. And I was especially happy I didn't give up the first goal like I did last time when I played as Club Rouge. Which, that would be an interesting game to play, the uh, Bournemouth against Club Rouge. I have to say that this team's actually better than Club Rouge. See Miles Addison, the former Derby player.
But yeah, both both these teams making impressive starts in the Premier League. I know Leicester won their first two games, but settled for two draws the last two. And of course, these two teams played each other. Caleb Wilson making history for Bournemouth by Noni helping them secure their first ever Premier League win, but he also recorded their first hat trick in their Premier League history, which is pretty exciting for them. You know, I I can't help but feel that they're going to be the feel-good story this year. And see, Stanislas is fatigued, and I very nearly blow it here. Stanislas with the ball, the former West Ham and. Uh, Burnley player and that's the end of the game and I only scored twice in the second half but I'm okay with that considering this is a league two side and and that being 11 nothing and that really is a beautiful stadium look at that 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 looks awesome so another game full of ifs and buts and maybes but you can't change the final score now I see Wilson's penalty there he just blasted that see 11 goals, 4 assists, 90% shot accuracy, seven, nearly 70% possession, and Leicester never got going in this game, and that's quite impressive for Bournemouth. See, each team making a substitution, Qu Chris Wood coming on for Mark Albrighton for Leicester, a forward for a winger, or a, a wide midfielder. She saw the assist there. But yeah, and this I was ra rather pleased with. As a matter of fact, this is one of the best games I've played since I started this segment. And who would have thought that Bournemouth were responsible for having such a run like this? But but yeah, this is definitely a team, especially after this result. I already played as them twice. I'm definitely going to have to play as them again. So and they are exciting. So um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I will see you guys again next time.